So I am back from my last mineral collecting trip now. I am out in my garage that needs a bit of a cleaning and I'm gonna show you how to dissolve calcite using muriatic acid to expose crystals when there's just a little too much calcite on that specimen to make it look good and you wanna see what is underneath the calcite. Let's get dissolving. So I am back from my last mineral collecting trip. I was down in Marmora, Ontario, checking out a, an old mine that had some gold back in the day but is now known for arsenal pyrite crystals. I brought a whole bunch of chunks of calcite home that show promise. And these are the four good pieces left over. As you can see, arsenal pyrite crystals right here. This one has a really nice big one. And I'm hoping when I dissolve these in acid, that it'll look even better. So I'm gonna show you now how I do that. All right, so I am out in my garage now, and here is the muriatic acid I use. You can pick it up at a local hardware store or your local building supply store. Again, dissolving calcite with acid, muriatic acid. Be sure to wear your glasses or goggles. Be sure to wear the proper skin protection. Be sure to do it outside because the vapors and fumes are horrendous from this stuff. And when you're done dissolving, Make sure you use your baking soda to neutralize the acid. Remember, always add the acid to the water, never water to the acid. You wanna make sure your crystals are in the little bowl covered with the water, then add the acid. But be sure, read the instructions, take all your proper safety precautions before you do this. But this is how I dissolve calcite with muriatic acid. Look at all those little arsenal pyrite crystals. Nice. Hopefully the acid will show some really nice stuff, but only time will tell. So first up, take the four specimens, put them into a little plastic bowl. There you go. Cover them with water. Just so the crystals are covered, you don't want too much excess water in there. Looks good enough to me. Oh, a little more. Right there. Next up, we get our muriatic acid. Pour it in ever so gently. Just a little bit, not too much. More than enough. And now it just bubbles away and we let it do its thing. You can hear the acid working away there, dissolving the calcite. Slowly but surely. So now it's the waiting game. A couple hours later, I'll come out and check on these or maybe tomorrow after work, but either way, it's gonna take a while. Muriatic acid doing its thing, dissolving the calcite. Look at that go in there. Oh my Lord. All right, so it's been a couple hours and I'm gonna reach in here wearing my glove this time. See what's going on. It's definitely dissolved. I think what I'm going to have to do is put some more acid in there and kind of recharge the liquid and leave it for a few more hours. Oh yeah, there's still lots to go. So, using the proper gear in my glove, I'm going to add some more acid. Let that go for another couple hours or maybe tomorrow and we should be good. So the liquid has been sitting for 24 hours and you can see it's this pukey green color now and I'm going to start taking the crystals out. So I'm going to use my trusty tongs here. Try and grab these crystals I can't see and put them into another bucket with just a little bit of water in there. Being careful not to splash this stuff. Looking good so far. Looks like there'd be some nice crystals down there. There's one more in here somewhere. Where is that last one? There it is. So I put the crystals into the bucket with just a little bit of water. Sprinkling some baking soda on there to neutralize the acid on the crystals. 
little scrub brush and get it wet scrub them down neutralize them just like that after that I like to take them over and rinse them off good in some water and then we'll look at them and see what we got and it is looking good so far oh yeah I'm gonna clean these all off take them inside show you what they look like and what I'm gonna do is put this through the strainer just to get out all the little crystals that have fallen off <laughs> it's the baking soda reacting with muriatic acid got to be some floater crystals in there uh, there's the residue look at that So here is the end result, a whole bunch of arsenal pyrite crystals, one really big one right there, nice little clusters all over the place. These are all the little ones that broke off, little perfectly terminated arsenal pyrite crystals. Very nice, but check this out though, look at that. Look at all those crystals. Dissolving calcite with muriatic acid. Let's take a closer look. Check out that crystal there. Look at that. Nice. Arsenal pyrite. Look at that. Not sure what this black stuff is right here. Look at that though. That's nice. This one turned out pretty good. Lots of tiny little crystals. I never would have seen all this stuff if I didn't dissolve it in the acid, so look at that. Nice. So right here I have a variety of photos, very close up. So these stunning, tiny little arsenal pyrite crystals doesn't get any better than this. And this is what you can do with muriatic acid if you know you have some rocks that have crystals in them. Very nice. Arsenal Pyrite Crystals. We got this really nice terminated Arsenal Pyrite Crystal right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Check out all these tiny terminated Arsenal Pyrite Crystals. Look at that. Glittery. I like this one. Lots of tiny little crystals all stuck together. Shiny. <laughs> Look at that. Very glittery. So here's that big one again. Check that out. Roll this piece over. It's got all these little guys in there. You can see them sparkling away. Come over to the back. It just keeps going. Arsenal Pyrite. That's definitely the biggest crystal right there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial video on how to dissolve calcite using muriatic acid to expose crystals. If you like what you see, click like, click subscribe, and all that other YouTube mumble jumble that people say, and I will see you, where are you? Right there, on the next rock hounding adventure.